All right, Charlie, so last week was a bit of a horror show for you, really, only scoring 16. Um, so let's see if we're uh, any better with this paper two where we're allowed to use a calculator. 146, 16, 87 pound. It's 87 pound 50. Your calculator doesn't know that you were working in pence, uh, pounds, sorry. So it doesn't think to add that zero. So it's something you need to do yourself. That's fine. Now, because you haven't added that zero, you have type that in as 87.05 which means that you've added them up wrongly for your answer to find 10% of that you would divide by 10 so that would be 63 pound 68 say uh, and then you would take it off so again I'm sure you would have been practicing with Mrs Williams uh, finding 10% with or without a calculator that's good, and that is good as well. Uh, nine for the page. Now then, um, you probably are going to lose a mark here because your curve ain't curvy enough. Okay, your symmetry, your lines are fine, but that if you take a look there, that really drops sharply. So it goes down like that. So you will lose one for that. Obtuse and acute angles. Again, those are something that I'm sure you would have done with Mrs. Williams. Acute is smaller than 90. That one is 90. So that's your acute. Obtuse is bigger than 90, which is what A is. And B is the 90 degree, which is another word for a right angle. So that's what they're looking for there. Spring 10, summer 15, 8 and 7. Right, in the real exam, use a ruler, use a pencil. You have to label your axes. That is your counting axis, which we call frequency. This one is the context of the question which is in this question seasons your heights are fine but again it's a messy attempt so what you need to do there is get that sorted because you are going to lose two of the four marks available to you on that question the mode isn't a repeated number it's the biggest number it's the season that is the most popular so summer is 15 so that's the most popular well done for that that's good um, these ones are all wrong unfortunately the probability that he does not pick a black ball none of the balls are black so it's certain he's not going to pick a black ball so that is B the probability that he picks a pink ball for A, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the ten are pink, so it's quite a high probability. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, and then the probability he picks a green one. Oh God, sorry Charlie. Uh, probability that he picks a green ball, there's only one green ball out of 10. So it's not impossible, but it's not very likely. So you'd be looking to put that one there. So that again is something that you should be able to get right. That one's right. I see it again. Oh dear me, um, it's 60 out of 100, not 6 out of 100. So you've missed that zero there. Uh, so you've got 3 out of those 4, right? 3, 4, 6, 8 on that page. A rectangular square, there's no such thing as a rectangular square. 
uh, what you're looking for is a rhombus. No, a square is a rhombus. So, no, so you're not going to get that. That is the rhombus. And for this one, if the isosceles triangles are different sizes, so one looks like that, and maybe the other one is longer, then what that produces is a kite. Okay, um, is that the point that you stop? Now I'm not convinced that you've stopped because there's nothing beyond there that you can't do. I think you stopped because you didn't do your homework. 9, 12, 20. So 20 is a G. It's three marks off an F. It's 40 odd marks away from a C. And, uh, you know, for the questions that you've done, there are mistakes there that are easy to sort out. But the questions you just haven't bothered with, it's very difficult for me to help you put those right when you're just not putting the time into improving. So I'm a bit disappointed with that, Charlie.